All right, we've got a fun one for you today. This is a five count facing movement. Uh, it's pretty simple in theory, but in practice, it's really gonna test our coordination, moving our limbs uh, and the rifle at different times. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Or if we go the other way, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, the movements themselves are very simple, but when we start to put this into play and we start to work through it, we have different things happening at different times. So let's break it down by the counts. We're gonna start at a vertical position of port arms. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do that. We're gonna simply start by dropping the rifle down parallel to the ground with the sling facing forward at about our waist level. We're gonna take the left hand close to the body and more fully extend the right arm, keeping a grip on the small of the stock so that we're laid out at about a 45 degree angle, perfectly flat with the sling facing front. One, from here, we need to decide whether we're going left, whether we're going right, and the opposite foot is going to stomp forward. And when we do this, we're gonna pick up and we're gonna stomp down and forward to really lock the foot under the ground, get some audio, uh, and really show that power. So one, two. From here, whether we're going left or right, we're going to pivot on the balls of each foot, pulling the rifle up to a port arms position, but leaving our hand on the upper hand guard where it was in that first count. One, two, three. From here, we're going to do a parallel stomp. Check that out in the unarmed section if you have not done so already. We're gonna do a parallel stomp to close our feet. One, two, three, parallel stomp. And we're gonna finish by reforming to port. So, pretty straightforward. Drop, stomp, turn, stomp, hand. But when we start to speed this up and when we inject this coordination or we put it into a sequence, right? One, two, three, four, five. We really need to be mindful that only the part of our body or the rifle that's moving on that count should be moving. And we want to avoid trying to blend the counts together, making them very distinct. One, two, three, four, five. To finish out that five count facing movement. So give it a shot integrate it into your sequences, see how it turns out with people going different ways. Pretty simple, but again, something to challenge our coordination.